Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've just done a makeup tutorial and I've created this makeup look for autumn. And um, while I was doing that, I was thinking, yes, this is a nice video. You guys request makeup videos all the time. So I thought, okay, this is a must. I have to do this. New products, uh, nice fall colors and creating a beautiful bronzy, but still um, wintery kind of makeup um, to get you through these upcoming months where, it's, where it gets colder and you just want to have a little bit more. Wow, what would I say? Hmm. It's gray and cold here, but you still want to look bronzed and nice. So I've done this makeup look. So if you want to check out that one, you'll have to wait till next week because this is the first video that will uh, go up. Um, and while I was doing this make, I was thinking, okay, I haven't done a little life update for a while now. And um, I guess that's also nice, not only to show you styling or makeup um, and giving you a top 10 here and a favorite video there but also to just talk and let you guys know how i am what i'm doing currently and how life is so therefore i'm here to talk a little bit to chat about my life my work and how everything is going so Basically, I've just returned from Mallorca, where I hosted Love Island for the German uh, channel at 2. And I have to say, I had so much fun. It's been my first TV show since three, four years. And I have to say, um, I've, I've never felt so welcomed. Um, and I am so grateful. Um, for this chance um, at 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 Zwei. and um, I've loved everything about Love Island. I've loved working with the team, the way they are with each other, how nice and how open-minded and how fresh and modern they are. Um, I was able to show myself as a presenter in a way that I I never could before. Basically, um, they said, "Sylvie, just be yourself." throw away your hosting cards, just be yourself, just prepare for the show and then let go. And that's what I did. And I have to say, I think for me, it, 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 it was the nicest thing to do. And um, I also have to say, I found a new love for making TV. Uh, it wasn't easy the last couple of years where I obviously I wanted to go back to TV, but the formats um, that were offered were not really my kind of thing. And I was waiting for the right one. And I'm so happy and proud that I did that I had this calmness in my life because there was so much other stuff going on with my companies, with the collections I'm doing, the collaborations with the brands, the campaigns that I, I, I am still doing, um, that I just could focus on that part. And obviously the whole social media um, part of what my job is was also very important to pay attention to. So I'm so grateful that I've built up a great com community on Instagram and also here on YouTube and a little bit on TikTok and a little bit on well, Twitter I always had, um, but obviously Instagram takes up a lot of time um, to do so for my own companies, but also for all the uh, campaigns and, and things that I do for other brands. So, um, yeah, I was missing TV, but I also knew that if I returned to TV, I wanted to do it the way that now I know really suits me and um, I said yes to Love Island because I love that format. I've been a fan ever since it started in the UK and actually I, I love watching also the US version, the, the Australian version, the German version obviously. And when I started to work for Love Island um, Germany, I felt so welcomed and I felt so appreciated. And obviously, um, for every human being, um, that's exactly what you need if you want to feel confident in your job. And um, that that's what happened. And I'm, I'm so, so, so happy. And obviously, you can still stream it. So if you want to check it out, then go to TV now and uh, um, search for Love Island uh, Germany. And there you can find um, the sixth season. And that's 
my season, but all the other seasons are amazing as well. So check check them out. Mm, it was hard work. It was sometimes crazy hours, but it was so freaking worth it. And I'm still, I have to say, after glowing, after this whole month uh, in Mallorca, because as I said, it was so much fun also to combine work and uh, a staycation uh, with my team at a beautiful house where we worked our asses off, uh, continued producing content for all the other brands that I'm working with, flying out for great lengths. I flew out for Uvidem, um, which was in combination with Love Island, sometimes heavy because, you know, there were nights that I couldn't sleep because it was just so much. And then after the final, which was insane because we also did a show called After Sun that was hosted by uh, my good friend Kathy Hummels, um, and that went on until almost it was daylight again. So, yeah, that was heavy, but it was so worth it. Again, so much fun. And the next day, we flew out with the whole team, uh, went back to Hamburg, uh, landed very, very late. And the next day, I had to pack my bags again. Well, in the, in the night, I still had to pack my bags because I had a big business meeting um, in, uh, in the area of Stuttgart. So I flew out there, I had an amazing time. I cannot talk about it, but it was amazing. Great people, great creative ideas, and it's something that I'm truly looking forward to. So I had that, and then I came back to Hamburg, and at that point I hadn't slept for three nights, and yesterday was the first night that was kind of normal. But obviously, um, um, <laughs> the upcoming days are crazy as well because now I'm preparing for my next Aldi TV commercial shoot um, which I'm really looking forward to but as you all know that also means preparing that means working out a lot that means clean eating um, and everything that goes with it um, so I'm preparing for that that's next week obviously one month Mallorca means the work was piling up here so I am actually doing everything to just make sure that it goes smoothly. Then um, part of my job is also to keep up with all the beauty stuff I have to do. As you know, I'm the face of great lengths. So this weekend, my good friend Laura is coming and she's going to replace this set with a fresh new one. Because after a month of everyday styling, honestly, wow. The hair suffers, so we're going to do that. Um, after so much sunshine, I have pigmentation on my face. Oh, these problems in the life of a whatever I am. Um, so I'm going to go to my good friend Amy Arpa tomorrow. I have six days to recover. I have my Aldi shoot. Mm, and then um, after Aldi, straight away, the day after, I will fly from Dusseldorf to Frankfurt. And in Frankfurt, my Juvederm family is waiting for me. And I'm going to do a great event for them. Really looking forward to that, to see the guys, to talk to them, to do interviews, to, well, to, to do a little hosting there as well at the event. Yeah, that's a little bit of my life update for now some plans for the nearby two to three weeks. I hope you also enjoyed this kind of information. Oh, and what I almost forgot during Mallorca, I don't know if, you, if you've seen it on my Instagram, but I also celebrated one year of marriage to my wonderful husband. And he surprised me with an amazing, an amazing private dinner with, with candles and roses and the whole shabam it was incredible so yeah that's something that was private but still um i posted some pictures so i just wanted to also inform you about that because that made me so happy and yeah so that's for now the little life update if you want to see uh, more videos like this let me know please if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you next time